So this question is a diagram question. Really, any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. What we have here, obviously, is a table. The first column here is number of cars. The second column is maximum number of passengers and crew. So the question here says the table shows the linear relationship between the number of cars, C, on a commuter train and the maximum number of passengers and crew, P. So this is, this is C values and these are P values for column two um, that the train can carry. Which equation represents the linear relationship between C and P? So basically, which one of these answer choices describes the behavior that we see in the table? The best strategy, the fastest strategy to solve this will be plug in information from question PIQ. So the question is telling us, for instance, that for the first row, let's say, when C equals 3, P equals 174, right? When C equals 5, P equals 284, and so on. When C equals 10, P equals 559. So that means I can take these values, I can take this one, for instance, plug it into choice A, and I can test whether or not choice A is correct by simply plugging those values in. So let's try that. So if uh, C is 3, that means I'd have 55 times 3 minus, if P is 174, becomes minus 174 equals negative 9. 55 times 3 is 165. 165 minus 174 is, in fact, negative 9. So I'd have negative 9 is negative 9. And that makes choice A correct, right? There's no... There's really no other option. Right? There's no real need to even try any of the other ones. And we can see that there's no way B is correct, for instance, because the same exact left side as choice A, but then we have a positive 9. Um, so that's, that's not possible. And then choice C, we're multiplying 55 times P, 55 times 174, which is a huge number, minus just 3 is not going to give me a negative 9. So C is gone and D is gone. So choice A is the best answer, and I think this is the fastest way to get there. There is another way we can solve this. We could use these ordered pairs, right? So use this information to put into a linear equation. Right? So I'm thinking something like y equals mx plus b, which for our purposes would convert to p equals mc plus b, right? Just replacing x and y with c and p. Um, and then we can use these values to solve for m, for instance, and then to solve for b, and then to plug into this equation here. But I think, I think plug in questions, plug in information from questions is the fastest way. We can just go directly to our answers in that way. Uh, so choice A is the correct answer here.